FBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. Just can't shake the rain. It's been very soggy around here so far this year. We still have the rain falling in Louisville, Mississippi. You can see it right there with our Alvin Insurance camera. Let's do a little sky cam tour. A little bit of a clearing trend trying to develop in the Columbus area. And it hasn't been as wet far the north. A live view at Durham's Pharmacy in Vernon. And up to Tupelo we go where things are a little bit drier overall here across the northern part of the region. Temperatures range from the mid-50s to the mid-60s out there. And it looks like we will be warming back up in the 60s in most spots here. Harley probably not enjoying this wet day. Harley's actually looking forward to some snow, but uh, we don't have any snow in the forecast. But the heaviest rain will gradually shift to our south this afternoon. Uh, we are envisioning highs generally in the 60s here, uh, depending on how things go here. But along and south of 82, that's where we still have the steadier rain from Kosciuszko to Macon. Uh, we dry things off north of 82, and it looks like this big bash will continue moving off to the south later on. And some of you down to the south have had two to four inches of rain, if not a little bit more here. Obviously, some flooding issues along the 82 corridor, one to three, and farther north anywhere from about a half inch to one and a half inches of rain over the last 24 hours. So uh, very, very wet. There's a stationary boundary. There's little disturbances moving along it, and that is what's kicking off the rain. So uh, for the rest of today into tonight and tomorrow, tomorrow night, uh, anywhere from about a half inch to maybe over uh, two inches of rain. This model just updated, downplaying some of those totals, but uh, we still have the potential for some heavier downpours this afternoon south of 82. A lot of that rain goes away here this evening, but we will carry over the risk for some rain, some showers and thunder showers tonight into tomorrow morning. We may see a resurgence of the activity tomorrow afternoon and evening with a frontal boundary that will be moving on through. Uh, that will push to our south for Thursday and Friday, so rain chance is a little bit lower. Another front moves through Saturday. That will get rid of this wet weather pattern as colder air builds in behind it, if you can believe it. So we are looking at 60s today, low 60s for lows tonight. Keep in mind the average high this time of year in the low 50s, low to mid 70s tomorrow. Not as wet Thursday and Friday, probably a lot of drying in there Thursday and Friday, but still humid. Saturday, a front moves through, another chance for showers and storms, and then much colder, much drier 40s return Sunday, and next week is looking cool. More of the show after the break.